Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. Um, I had a couple of people who said they wanted to know what my office redo looked like, and it's not quite done, but it is mostly done. So I thought I would do that. I was about to come up and do some diamond painting, and I thought, let's do this. Let's just do this. So I will start over here. This is going to be my nail supply station. <laughs> but I do have some uh, cardstock on this side. So mostly this side, my nail lamp on all my gels and all of that stuff is all right there. And then of course that's my nail brushes and all of that stuff. So still a bit of organizing to do, but it's getting there. And then right beside it, <laughs> I really love this desk, but it was a disappointment. Um, I bought it so that it could fit under my new desk and I missed the measurement. The table is the, the size that it's supposed to be, but the bar legs came in um, further than I thought they would, so it didn't fit. So this is just all my diamond painting supplies. Um, I've got some ones that I'm working on and haven't finished. This is my Chuck Pinson Sanctuary, my um, Mary Everything, my Elephant. I need to get those. And I have um, some command strips. I'm going to see if I can hang them. I think these are 16 pounds. I'm going to see if I can hang some of my paintings. At least that's my plan. Uh, and then the other th disappointing thing was would get, be able to get more in here and as you can see only two of my trays fit in here so I need to figure out a different way to um, store my diamond painting trays and then I've got just like empty diamond paintings basically some supplies um, just things that I've ordered from different places lots of supplies so, and then my tubes, which uh, will fit in there. I just haven't put them in yet. And then this bad boy is my workstation. So notice all the shirts. Um, my brother-in-law asked me to make him some uh, shirts for that say uh, mental health matters. And he ordered 10 of them. So I've got to make those. And actually I have the... This is what the deco looks like. Um, <clears throat> I printed this one out wrong. I forgot to mirror it. So learning mistake, but, or learning lesson, I guess. Uh, but I am making those for him. The, this is 10 and he actually just ordered an 11th one. And then I also made a shirt for, and, and by the way, um, that design is up on amazon.com. Um, I think it's up on all the Amazons actually. And then I also made one for my husband who loves Dungeons and Dragons and he's the, the, uh, the dungeon master for a campaign called Curse of Strahd. So he had me made, or he had me make him this shirt called, or it says it's never sunny in Barovia. <laughs> And if you are a d and -er, you will understand what that means. So the cool thing about this desk is that it's got two sides that will actually flip up and make the work side super, super long. You can see it again over here. So both of them flip up. It just becomes this huge desk. Um, this lifts up also, although I don't know why you would need to because this drawer slides out. And then your materials can feed behind your Cricut. And there's room for the uh, rolling tray there. This is the It's going to take a whole box to do all 10 of those shirts. And I'm going to um, put a deco on <laughs> these and see if it works too. I don't know. I'm just going to play around. Look at my hands. Oh my goodness. All the building and stuff I did, I just like tortured myself this hand too. I've got like bruises and bumps and cuts and anyways back to this under that you can just store whatever else i've got my heat press there and then i've just got some cricket supplies in here too so i guess there's some books too these are my t-shirt guides that help me center and then oh, oh i've got my diamond painting books in here 
So not totally organized. And then some of my vinyl and my cardstock and my mats and my foiling tool and my these things are very important when you're doing a shirt so that's that i really really like that station it doesn't usually i'm not going to keep the uh candle and the other thing on it it's it was just nice to have it going while i was uh straightening everything up and then we have my diamond painting desk this table also lifts but i never lift it um, I just do it uh, straight down, but I've got my camera set up and my lights and my tray and that fart, that tray over there is totally filthy. Uh, I just have some washi tape and stuff that I need to figure out a place to go. I'd like to get a little storage container for all my washi tape, but this is Deborah Malcolm's An Evening Stroll. That's what I'm working on right now and I'm not doing a very good job. I don't even have half done and we're more than half into the month but i've had a lot of stuff on the go um and then i just hung those two pictures i actually don't think they're very straight it was just to get something up on the wall and my plan is to have diamond paintings everywhere so like i'm thinking like up here will be like chuck pinson maybe some deborah malcolm i don't know um i don't know what i'm gonna put over here and then over here i just i don't mind my walls are dirty i need to wash them and i also want to paint them like a gray but um, I'm just thinking like Mad Art Studios. I have so many Mad Art Studios. I have, I did Out West. I also have Little Village. I have Winter Sparkle. I have Spring Shine. I have I Love Moo. I have Peekaboo. I have a lot of her work. I really like her style. And then, I don't know. I think I might put curtains on those windows. I'm not sure yet. In the corner there, I have my, my screen divider or my, you know what I'm talking about, a screen room divider. That little tray right there is just a lot of junk in there right now. I have to go through it, but it's mostly just for shipping like tape and um, I've got my tape gun and stuff. And then under that is my like important papers and stuff. Printer here. And this is where I wanted to put that long drawer. But down here is all of my painting supplies because uh, I want to do some acrylic pours with my daughter. And then, of course, my diamond art club stash. <laughs> it goes back quite a bit. I think some of the rows are bigger than others, but I tried to divide them by uh, artist. So like you can see, there's a mad art studio right there. There's a Patrice Marciano right there. Francis Judd. I think I have another Deborah Malcolm. And then this stuff, I don't know. I just, I need to find homes for it. Like I said, I'm not totally organized yet, but the idea is here. And I thought you guys would be interested to see it. And then I kept the monitor from my um, tower computer and I'm gonna try and raise it up. And then I'm gonna have my laptop here and I'm gonna do all my editing here. Plus it's important for my computer to be here to connect to the Cricut. But this desk is like super long. And then, and it was under the window here. I had it here until it, it didn't fit with that desk. And then I had to kind of rethink things. And actually, I really, if I go back, I actually like the setup better, I think, than I would have. My uh, diamond painting desk used to be right here and and then there was a space and then a, I just had a, a like a camping table in the corner there with my printer on it and then I was planning on just having a few shelves here and I don't know I really like it this way I feel like I have room to move down and each side has a purpose kind of thing each section has a purpose this chair oh my god it is so embarrassing it is falling apart like the, the faux leather is just peeling off of it but it's so comfortable every time i come in here i and sit in it i end up having to vacuum the floor more yeah, there's a piece of it right there <laughs> so i think i need to vacuum again i think forever i'll be vacuuming drills and pieces of the chair it works 
it, it's good for now. Um, but yeah, so just to let you know, like I said, you can get this one and you can get the um, Mental Health Matters. Both of them are on Amazon.com for sure under the Kennedy Sask store. So it's K-E-N-N-E-D. Why S-A-S-K, just in case you wanted to go take a peek. I don't know what else to show you. Like, it's uh, it's not done, but it's the idea is there. And I know, um, especially you, Brandon, you said you wanted to see. Sorry, I didn't have it before. The old desk. Okay, so I'll tell you about this old desk. The old desk almost came out to, let's see where my finger is. I'd say almost half of that window see if I can back up and get it a little less blur blurry almost half of that window and then of course it just came like straight across it took and then it was super tall it was like as tall as the window or almost as tall and it had these two side oh it was just a monster and it made the room dark I already feel like the room is so much lighter and it held a lot of stuff which is why you see so much stuff in here still and then behind this door is still a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten to but I want to build in the closet it goes back like another six feet back there but it's very narrow um, and it ends with a closet and I want to build shelves in there uh, just to I'm not going to show you I'm not <laughs> I keep on almost going that way and I'm not doing it. It is, it's not show worthy, <laughs> but that's, yeah. So that's the office. I think I like how it's going to turn out. That plant isn't going to stay there. I'm going to figure out another home for it. I want it in here. I don't want it on top of my printer. I don't think we don't usually use the, the scanner on the top, but I still would like to find a nicer home for it. And that's it. You guys, that is the office. That's what's changed. Um, Really, it looks so much nicer. I had a great big brown craft stand that probably took up the nail stand and that desk at least in width. And then it was about almost five feet tall um, and it had slots and drawers and it's now sitting down in the basement. I think I'm gonna fill it with um, some sewing supplies and maybe some materials and then also some paperwork and stuff because I just wanted it out of here. Look at all the junk that's like, there like I said I still have a lot of stuff that I need to go through 16 years of how many kids and like this I have to redo all of this this is because my daughter used to sit on, at her computer this was her, like her there her and my husband shared a computer and this was where they would sit and she would have her feet up on the wall all the time and it actually took the corner right off the wall. <laughs> and I had to kind of build one back up. And anyways, I decided I wasn't even going to try to fix that until, or like try to finish it until I did the rest of the office. I've got paintings down there. Oh, and I've got a hair color bottle. <laughs> Just chunk everywhere. It's always popping up. Anyways. And a, can, and a can of coins or a, a cup of coins and some Windex. Anyway, I yeah yeah. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick tour of what I have done in here. I am super, super happy. I feel so much more calm in here. Um, and I feel like I'll be able to get a lot of work done, like those shirts, which I need to get on, on doing. But I really appreciate you hanging out with me while I showed you this. If you like the tour, give me a thumbs up. If you hate the tour, give me a thumbs down. Comment down below what you like about it or it, what you don't like about it. And I appreciate you guys hanging out. Until the next video, stay safe, hug a loved one, and I will talk to you later. You're probably a little blurry. Sorry, but bye.